Okay. Oh my, it is late tonight. I've been doing some stuff. I got my hair cut. I think I already talked about that. And I've been playing with my brother a little bit on my other Minecraft, Minecraft world, not the this world. And man, I just ran out with my last um, stone sword. <laughs> And I finished off my shard. Oh, I have so much gold to prove that I did this. 1,024. <laughs> I'm only level 33 or so. Yeah, 33, maybe 34. 34, because I have died so many times. So I fill up my inventory. I come over here. And I go through the portal. And there's always just this host of bad guys just chilling there. I guess they spawn on the portal and then go to the nether, uh, go to the overworld and then they just destroy me. I ended up building a little box around my portal so that when I come through it's like he's gonna be killing, killing me and now they're all gonna try to kill me. This is not good. <laughs> I'm wasting all my gold swords. Oh, there's only two this time. Normally there's tons of them. Let me put this here before I venture out onto the rest of the island so I don't lose any of my stuff. So many gold swords. That is a ton of gold right here. And then a decent amount of iron, a decent amount of nuggets, tons of minimum shards, and a good, good, good food supply. Oh, man, that was a lot of work. Definitely worth it, though. Zombie pigmen. Huzzah. Awesome. Okay, so now should be able to make a soul cage and just spawn tons of these guys. Before I do that, though, I need to make myself a proper mob grinding area. We'll probably do it up over there, and I'll just make a um, mob, a normal mob spawner, just like it, pick where it goes, pretty much. And I don't think I'm going to have it as a drop to your death thing. I'm going to actually kill them for now maybe I don't know we'll decide I'll probably set it up so I can change it between the two because this is gonna be a lot of work to try to kill as many people because I'm mainly doing it for the gold because the gold gives me everything oh that's awesome I'm actually going to combine these swords so I know actually how much I'm getting from this there's tons of them holy crap damage swords just totally filled up my inventory <laughs> oh Awesome. Super cool. So yeah, I'm I'm set now. I've got so much money. Here we go. Now I can start using my pocket crafting table. Bam. Bam. There we go. Much better. This will go a lot quicker now. So much gold. Hallelujah. Awesome stuff. Okay, so now I can just grab all these as well. Make them all into the cool full swords that can be turned into awesomeness. Bam. Super sweet. Like so. Cool. So now I just need to alloy furnace the crap out of these guys. <laughs> oh, okay. I have tons of coal. Because of that one villager. Pretty cool guy. Whoa. Lag spike. What just happened? Oh, my. Um. Hmm. My computer appears to be unhappy with me. I will be right back. Okay, I do not know what was going on. I have no clue. Very odd. Interesting. Well. Strange. Well, I'm good now. The rain stopped. I think that might have been it. I don't think so. that's weird, though, because I've been having good... I haven't been having too much trouble with rain recently. Hmm. I don't know. Just smelting down my swords. Oh my gosh. So much iron. Glorious. And I haven't even started using my mob grinder that I'm about to build. Then I'll have so much uh, um, gold, I mean. Anyways, um, really quick awesome thing. 
I am now officially on the original post as Let's Play by Skankin Creeper. Pretty cool. And I also got the rules amended. <laughs> I uh, talked about, I talked to him about how Miscraft would kind of break the game because you can just go to any Miscraft realm, and then you could just win because it'd just be playing like playing normal Minecraft. And so the rules have now been amended to say don't use Miscraft or any other ages unless you are told to. Kind of cool. <laughs> um, little fun fact. So apparently we could use Miscraft for something. A little twist sometime along in the plot. It's kind of exciting. So I don't know about you guys. I've always thought this furnace is really, really cute. It's like a really sad, winky face. <laughs> I don't know. I always have thought it's pretty cute. And then all of these nuggets. That's like almost another stack of gold. Super close to another stack of gold. <laughs> oh. oh, we are rich. Guys, we are rolling in the dough. And we've got a decent amount of gunpowder, too. Gunpowder was really useful in um, Mind Crack. Is it still pretty useful in this, too? Uh, doesn't look like it's as useful. Yeah, it's not quite as useful. That's okay. Oh, wait. There's still more. Yeah, Splash Potions, of course. Whoa. That is a terrible recipe. Shaped Crafting... Okay, so yeah, I've seen everything. So yeah, gunpowder is not quite as useful, but that's okay. We've got a decent amount of it now. Oh, we've got a stack and a half, almost, of gold. That is a ton of stuff. Um, well, I want to make a decent amount of shards of minimum really quick, just for the fun of it. So we're going to throw some things together really quick and make that happen. Um... I guess I need this stone first, so I'll, I'll chill for a second and not qu do it quite yet. <sighs> this is really exciting. I've been working on that for way too long. Bam! Stacking almost a half. Two stacks and a half, almost. Cool! Okay, well, I'll be back in a little bit after we get some stone and whatnot. Okay, I've been waiting around, and this is probably good enough. Seven minimum stones? I think I think that'll do. <laughs> so we'll do that really quick. We have so much materials at this point. Oh, I always do that. It's like that. Inert stones. Yeah. I'm really excited. Uh, now we can start cranking in this world. We have infinite minimum. Minium! Ah! Minium, minium, minium. I need to remember how to say the dang word. <laughs> oh. Fooey. Anyways. Yeah, I need to learn how to speak, apparently. We have plenty of minium stones at this point, as well as nearly infinite resources. As soon as we finish building this little shindig we should be pretty much infinite um i'm gonna go over and grab some more those are the, i'm gonna grab some more coal and see how how long this actually works Yeah, that was that was pretty skilled, right? <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> but what it looks like is the villager Is that creeper coming for me? Whoa. Oh my. I need a sword, I need a sword. No 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 no. No! Don't hurt me! <laughs> oh crap, this is not good. Uh, how do I deal with this? Where'd he go? Did he jump off after me? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. 
Anyways, um, it doesn't look like the villagers actually ever run out of trade, so it looks like we have infinite fuel, which is good. Good to know. So what I want to do, actually, is make this whole thing that I'm going to make right now out of glass. Oh, but I still only have one water block. Oh, um, hmm. Well, I don't know how I'm going to duplicate that water block except for using a aqueous aqueous accumulator, and that uses ten. So I don't think I'm going to try to build my mob grinder quite yet. So it looks like instead I'm going to be working on the um, what is it called? the build craft villager and see if he gives me the materials I need because I think he will and I think I definitely have enough materials at this point to do it so um, I'm gonna set up some things I think I have a better way I think I've finally come up with a better way of building these things for you guys without boring you guys but still getting to see me build it so yeah I'll be back in a little bit okay welcome back this is what I came up with all the crafting recipes all laid out, everything. So for this, I need to make a tank as well as an iron here. So it would be upgraded. <laughs> Awkward. Forgot the cobblestone. Huh. Right too. I think this is only. Whoops. What I did though. Let's go. Here. Iron here. And wham, make the mining well. Mine that the tank, make pump. First item. The next item is a golden waterproof transport pipe. So you make waterproof, make transport pipe, find them, wham. Next one is actually <laughs> what all these are. It's um is um it's an auto crafting table. This is a crafting table surrounded by wooden gear. Number three. And the next one's just plain old sandstone for pipes. Beautiful. Oh, this one was painful to build. Tons of resources to build this. Used a good stack of gold in that or so. And I've got a landmark on the top. Make a filler. Gears, chest, etc. Uh, red some engine, simple enough, and then a wooden duster pipe. Those are the eight things for this villager. I thought I'd do this just so you guys actually see me setting up, but you wouldn't have to uh, just chill and wait for me to run around. Like you can actually see me making the individual items. Hurry up, go down, son. Um, you can see me making the items, but you don't have to wait for me to find all the items and all the inventory management that goes with making them. So, there we go. I thought you guys might enjoy that, so... Better than what I've been doing in the past, so... That's what I'll do. If you guys give me positive feedback on it, what do you guys do? If not, please... Okay, yeah, if you don't like it, leave a suggestion on what I should do so I can do something different. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Besides that, that's the best thing I can come up with. Yeah, that was a pretty good idea. Anyways. Um, so yeah, let's go unlock our next villager. And this one better have... Ugh, there actually is a fix for that. The security station biting me. There's a way to fix that. I just haven't done it yet. I was talking to the creator of the map, and um, when I'm installing the map, there's some... Oh my... Things I was supposed to do that I <laughs> neglected to do, so I'll I'll definitely have to do those someday soon. Okay, so this one is called "Let's Build Something." Pump, I missed. <laughs> Good job, that. Pump in. Good to go. Golden waterproof pipe. Auto crafting table. Stone transport pipe, quarry, filler, 
redstone engine, and wooden conductive pipe. Pump. Good to go. Oh. Haha. <laughs> I need 16 of each of those. Awkward. <laughs> well, I can go do that easily. I'll do that on camera really quick. Geronimo! Quick way to get back to it. Oh, poor crafting table. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Um. So, what was I? So I need... Wooden. Sandstone. So I need twice the sandstone. Sandstone, yeah. So I thought I thought I did. So I need to make those. I don't have an auto craft table. Or not auto. Pocket, that is. There we go. Let me make another one really quick. Wow. Okay. So that will be all the sandstone I need. Golden conductive, I believe it was. So we'll need another set of them. As well as making them all golden. Oh no, it was golden waterproof. I think, yes, I'm pretty sure it was golden waterproof and wooden transport. I'm pretty positive. We'll make more. Oops. Wooden transport. These are the conductive ones, I believe. Uh, I hope I'm correct. <laughs> and then some more waterproofing. I need to set them. Perfect. Okay, so I need my minium stone. For it. This red red and catch this. Waterproofing into conductive. Cool. I'll dump all this stuff back to the chest. Close this and let us go on our merry way. Unlock this villager. I'm excited. I really am. So I think at this point I should be getting the other ores. Which means a lot of fun stuff starts to happen. Start making easy. Oh, ouch. Like igneous extruders. I can. Probably can't do plant craft yet. I need the shark for that. That's okay. I'll get that sometime. I'm sure. Obviously, I have to because of the Avada Kedavra section. Ugh, I need a better way to get up. Even like a symbol ladder would be better than this. Ugh, this is gross. <laughs> well, soon, hopefully, I'll have a jetpack. Oh, that's another great thing. Okay, wait. Yes, perfect. I did do it correct. Okay, so we'll throw these guys. And see what goodies we get. What new friend of ours? Come on! Sandstone? Sweet. Cool. Nick Gattel. Small ambitious merchant. Wait, no, come back. Oh no. Huh? No one knows where he gets his stuff. Nobody knows. What? He does with what he gets. Nobody cares. Nicotel. A new threat. Sweet. What did you have to trade with me? Hello? Are you right here? So I can get copper ore from iron and rotten flesh. Tin ore from string. Silver from bone. Ferris from arrows, iron. Lead from cold swords, iron. That's cool. And what do you give me? Some tin and copper to start out. Oh, lord. This is super cool. I'm loving your map. Cool. Now we have tin and copper. Awesome. Now we can actually start producing stuff. Using this, we can make ourselves some... Uh, we probably want to make... Oh, oh. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. I know this episode's been going on forever, but I really want to polarize it. Now, I can make because I have copper! Sick. Okay, where's my valuable chest? Here. Have that. Time to make this really quick. Machine frame. Do that. Go like that. Pocket trap. Here. Okay. So, rotate machine frame. Shifting flint. I have flint laying around somewhere, right? Oh, I do not. Um, but the minimum stone has a flint recipe, right? Oh, okay, let's, yeah, four cobblestone becomes a flint. Okay, let's just make a decent amount of flint right now. Okay, so we got the flint. And the redstone was kept in the flint. But, let's go there. Okay, that's the coil. Sorry for doing this on the screen. I just, I just really want to try this out. Okay, now I need a piston. Redstone. Wooden planks. That's right. Okay. We got our piston, our machine frame, our coil, this, and flint. Pulverizer. Sweet. And this cannot run unless we get some build trap power, so I'll need to make a simple sterling engine to start it off. There's a bunch of stone and another piston. <laughs> Great. Okay, let's make another piston really quick. Okay, so we got the piston. Actually, we still need to make the gears. Uh, two gears. Oh, come on. Okay. Gears. Be upgraded. Here, flip that. And once it's glass, I think that's the last part of it. We pulled. We'll obviously need a nifty nifty lever. Excited, I'm really excited. Okay, so put that there, put that there. On, fit A. And we need to feed it something. Bones! This is what I want to try out. I've heard glorious things about this. Let's okay, so it's gonna use the power of fast enough yeah. The pulverizer gives you six bone meat. And then a minimum stone can turn it into two bones. Oh, glorious. We will never, ever run out of bone meal again. Awesome. We can produce bone meal from coal. Pretty sweet. And coal comes directly from stone, which can come from minimum stone. Yeah, so infinite bone meal now. Awesome. Super sweet. <gasps> okay, cool. Well, this episode has ran on long enough, and I am actually tired. It's past midnight. I'm going to go to bed pretty soon. So I will... <laughs> Apparently it's not night. Nice. I will bid you guys farewell. Thank you for watching. Commenting and liking. Thank you again and goodbye.